guys this is AJ the CEO coming at you with another video this is my follow-up video to making church announcements and we're gonna start from step one and go through to a finished first church announcement alright so the first thing that I did is um, I didn't want to reinvent the wheel so I did a lot of research and if I in my last church post production I actually hinted at what I did um, pretty much did some research and looking up some other churches um, video announcements to kind of gauge to give me an idea of what I wanted to do so what I decided to do first off is develop my theme and I mentioned this in my past video so the theme like I said was mine was professional but at the same time it was still gonna be kind of um, funny but not too serious um, and not just a comedy fest pretty much I wanted it to be entertaining so that was kind of my theme um, so let me jump over here to my computer and I can actually show you um, what I actually decided so here here is the package um, broadcast package that I purchased and let me go ahead and just play it So we've been seeing transitions and other type of displays so far. A bunch of lower thirds, a bunch of um, on-screen graphics, implementation of graphics as well as live action video, lower thirds, um, everything like that. That's the main intro. There's another transition, another full screen graphic, but it has moving video in it. Um, kind of like banners, which I'm going to be using in a later time. And pretty much that's the package I decided on to go with and um, based off of everything else that was available that I saw. So. I came up with um, kind of a collaboration of what I decided to put together and like I said I have a um, cloud account with uh, Adobe and I can open that up here just so you can see so that I have access to right now I only have um, after effects all these other ones were ones that I did for a trial that I don't use anymore they actually will expire here in about uh, 30 days so I didn't renew this one but after effects I still have and this is nine dollars a month that I use for this so that is what I use to go back and use that template to make the edits and everything that I did so let me go ahead and show you what came of the intro that I ended up making to go along with this. Alright, so that's what I ended up doing with mine. That's just the short intro version that I changed, put my own photos, um, praise worship, my three minute mark. Um, so it's a lot of action, a lot of color, and I might have to change some of the colors because I actually ran this today at my church today. And based off of some of the colors, I need to change so that they pop more on our screen. All right, so that's the first thing that I did. That started the intro. Now, if I come in and kind of show you what I have from a video standpoint. Now, let me cut back over here and superimpose myself so you can see what's going on. So. Alright, so here's just an example of what I did for my video. Just giving you the raw of it. <laughs> this is me being the cameraman, recording myself as you can see. Um, don't notice the sound is actually not working, so I had a backup lavalier on me as well as I'm recording on my tablet, which found out that wasn't working. Then had to go to my iPad. Um, and so I'm reading over my tips. Oh no, this is when I was trying to get my 
tablet to work and it wasn't so that was the first two recordings that didn't do anything so this next one was just the long cut of me doing everything in one shot and pretty much I repositioned myself because on right above here my intention was to shift over so that like if I do it here that all the space is open for those graphics that you saw made sure it was clear enough for me to have space in the bottom and um, just move and now and then I even changed some of the camera angles so I need to make sure uh, when I actually recorded this I was recording in 4k on my camcorder so that I have plenty of room to zoom in and out in my shot and that really isn't a big deal because I could have just stayed at 1080p without really any anything significant causing any problems with that um, that's just something that I had decided to do at that time. So I don't want you to ever think that, oh, I don't have all this, blah, 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 that's why I wouldn't work. I mean, if need be, you could do all this off of a phone, and I've done that before. Um, it's all about, it's not the equipment, it's just that you lay out the um, groundwork of what you have. So I listed those five things that I made for each um, announcement, and I literally just put a camera up, and I just kept talking through it. Just kept talking through it, kept talking through it, kept talking through it, and then just remembered the highlights of I wanted to acknowledge when the church service started. I wanted to tell them what's getting ready to happen. Hi, good morning, this is AJ. Um, and pretty much just went through the whole recording of everything that I wanted to be encapsulated inside of our announcements without really paying attention to the time. Because I already know from an editing standpoint, I can always fix anything that happened from a time standpoint. So now let me cut over to After Effects so I can actually show exactly what I did now that I did that first cut video. Now using the template that I mentioned already that I picked, what I did is let's go ahead and cut over here to After Effects. Now what I did is I re-watched the entire video that I did and I just started taking notes of every little article that I needed to do in a graphic standpoint. So if I come in here, the first thing is I started off with, hello, my name is, let me actually bring that up. So I came in here, the first thing, good morning Antioch, this is AJ Holmes with the Media Ministry. So I stopped right there and I need to have a lower third with my name. So I go in the broadcast package that I made um, and like I said, it comes with instructions, and in here, it had multiple lower thirds. Alright, so I came and found the lower third that I wanted to use, and I like this one. Now, because it's actually transparent, and because of the background that I had, I actually put a black bar behind it kind of like this just to make it stand out and I, I mention that a lot of times when I do the lower thirds at my church just because of the color palette it's kind of hard um, but it's a classic uh, black and white makes it stand out and another tip that I heard is when you're picking your colors look at NFL teams they already have color high contrasting colors pick from whatever colors that you like um, I'm not a football fan, but I do like the Seattle Seahawks colors. So I pick a lot of blue and green in the photos that I do because they stand out, um, especially at our church. So anyway, I did a black background and literally inside of this, let me show you how simple this package is for um, any package that you buy from here. So in here, I just double click on, and let me take my picture down so you can see. I double click here. And I have a line with text one. I just come in here and just start it type start typing. And then the next line is media ministry. I just start typing. And just that simple, my lower third is done. So when I have new people come in, that's exactly the same thing that I would have to do. So like if I come in here and now I just play it that's how it shows up so I have one article I, I came in here added to the encoder it sends it out to another program and it makes the the um, video or the images um, a bunch of images back to back almost like um, stop motion they just take a picture of every single animation in here and it's like a, a massive slideshow of just images 
um, with transparencies. So that's what I did with that. And then I just kept going through the video and calling out the information that needed to be highlighted. Um, so when I talked about church announcements, I mean, um, like the church meeting. So I came back inside of here and I believe it was promo two that I used for that. Yeah, so this is, I kept using these and it's just like the same way. I come in here, I double click on each line, I add my text, I can change the color in here if I wanted to, and I call this out. And as you can see, it's a lot of transparency on that side. So that's how you're able to see through how the stuff was being done. And I just went through each announcement and did that for each one and highlighted the information over those five questions that I mentioned before to call out what it is, who it's by, what time it, it is, where the location, and um, I forgot the last one, but it's those five that I keep mentioning before um, that I went through for each article as well. Now, when it came to the last part, when I started asking for um, volunteers to actually do this, I wanted it to be funny. And for whatever reason, I kept thinking about Carlton Alfonso. I always pronounce his last name wrong from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and he does the Carlton and you know, the Carlton dance of just people wanting to be in front of the camera. It was meant to be, while we're being so serious, just to add a light-hearted little joke there and it literally only added a second. So I went on YouTube, downloaded the um, Carlton video, and then embedded it into my announcements. So let's go over here to um, DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how all of that looks put all together. All right, I'm here in DaVinci Resolve and I'm putting everything on one screen so I don't keep having to bounce back and forth between each one. So I'm here in my timeline and let me move my media pool so that you can see how everything is. And let's shrink this down. So each one of these lines, um, my main video that I recorded and I showed you was on video one and audio one right here. Um, these whole sections right here. Now, I added some background music that I had, which is um, some no copyrighted music that I've actually used before at our church. So I know that this song is fine. There is our intro news video that I, I, told, that I already showed you. And I actually added a countdown that I found um, as a free countdown somewhere. I got it off of um, YouTube and it just sent me to a stock place that you can download this. So I start off with um, a three second countdown. Then it goes right into the video, the, the news intro video. Then I start my background music. There's my counter that I told you that our announcements is gonna be three minutes. So that's where our counter is. Um, and it runs the entire time while the um, announcements are running so as you see that's where I started off there's the black bar that I mentioned and there is the lower third that I made and if we just keep skipping ahead you'll see once I get to the next section I did a transition here which was also in that broadcast package all of us is that blue bar right now I'm keeping that color the transitions that just hides when I make a cut and then there's the same promo too that I use from the package. I just added different meeting information in there. And the same thing for the musicians meeting. And then when I started coming to our church stuff um, with our website, I literally just recorded myself browsing the website. Um, you can do that almost any Windows computer. If you press the Windows key and the letter G, you'll get something like this. And I'll actually show you here. It comes up with a game bar with Xbox come in and it'll actually let you record your screen. You can do this with OBS too um, if you want to, but the Windows key and the letter G on Windows 10 will let you do this. So I literally just recorded myself going through the church website so when i'm talking about hey this is the 
this is where you pay tithes online at the top you can click this if you scroll down you can click there so I'm speaking that in the video but then after the fact I got b-roll footage to supplement what I was talking about and I was just announcing um, our new method of paying tithes online all right so and then the same way I just mentioned that was this whole section was tithes so I just kept cutting in um, so I just kept cutting in and out while I was talking that so I'm talking highlight a point that I think is important for somebody to see then cut back to me but at the same time I'm changing the camera angle just to give it a little dynamics as well as I'm moving inside of my shot um, while I was talking all right so if I come back in here now we get to the part where we're asking for volunteers Actually, I don't know, the tie stuff went on a little bit further than I thought. Yeah, because it's talking about here how to download the app. And I even have a shot of... I have it somewhere here where I show... Yeah, show right here the app store of how to get it. And again, it's the same way. I just opened up a browser and navigated to the actually the Google store, but it was on iTunes. I just didn't have a way to show the iTunes store um, easily in what I was doing. Um, but I could have just put a camera up over my shoulder and just go through my iPad. Same thing would have worked um, as well. Alright, so the next part is what I was talking about the, now, the little humorous part. So the, here's the, the dance that I got from the YouTube video of just Carlton dancing that I superimpose on top of my video it was literally like two seconds um, and it actually got a laugh um, and that was the whole point I was able to draw the congregation in and get them to laugh that was the whole point of the video that was supposed to be informative but still entertaining at the same time and condensed and also I'm here just talking about anybody that wants to be a personality that doesn't mind being on TV in front of a camera you know that'd be good but then I also this section right here I chopped a little bit out of the video because in the video I'm saying even if you don't want to be on camera if you have one of those radio voices um, we need you and that's for voiceovers so to call that out I did an edit on the audio to just make it echo so it's just a radio voices voice, 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 voice. And, you know something just that simple it just makes it stick out and um, I just go through that and say there's one of the other promos when I put the information in with the highlight of the thumbnail for our news and I put I also am saying um, anybody's interested email at this address below I knew that ahead of time I said that when I was recording it and then I just added the graphic of the email address at the bottom um, and then as you can see the timer is still going on it was a, an exact three minutes so and the interesting thing is when I recorded this I actually without little editing actually ended in three minutes so that was really good um, so I call out right here that we're right out of time I fade dissolve out the clock and then I fade to our church logo so not necessarily sure if that's kind of like what you wanted to see but again I've been looking to try and do video announcements for I don't know how long at church and they they talk about it a lot of all the videos I've seen they talk about gave me some good information about um, how to do this how to write it what consists of what your video announcement should be blah 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 and I mean this is just more my take on this is exactly what I did um, so again um, I'll let you know that I showed this to my pastor <laughs> this morning and he was pretty much after seeing it he literally and I'm gonna actually cut in exactly what happened when I did the announcements and I will play the whole thing and just let you see now uh, let me check with my media ministry upstairs uh, are, are we, are we uh, have I missed something uh, you do okay all right, I, I want to do this again while I'm here, and then we shall proceed thereafter, okay? And uh, so 
please be with me. And whether you know it or not, you have seen uh, the announcements on the screen. This is one thing that we are moving to. Of course, I'm going to stop. I want to stop everybody jumping up having announcements. All right? I want, I want it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So, first of all, that means this. And those who are not here, who hear this, please pass it on. That means if you have an announcement, I am now, I am now putting the media ministry uh, on notice. If you have an announcement, you contact the media ministry and get your announcement to the media ministry in ample time that it would be played here when we do announcements. If that doesn't happen, your announcement is not going to be done. Amen? Amen. I'm not trying to be harsh, but it's about time for us to get our house in order. Okay. So here is what we're doing, and this is why we're doing it, trying to put the pieces together. Would you run that for me again, please? thank you for joining us with Praise and Worship. Praise and Worship is going to begin here in a few minutes, but what we want to do is bring to you this week's announcements here on everything that's going on here at Antioch. This Saturday, January 19th, we'll be having our quarterly church meeting here in the chapel at 10 a.m. We want to make sure everyone comes out to help support and know about the businesses going on here at Antioch and help us make decisions on what we can do to move our ministry forward and any other business items that need to be brought up. On January 20th, after service, the music ministry will have a reception in the multi-purpose room. All those who are a part of the music ministry are welcome to come out and enjoy the food and fellowship and friendship. Did you know that you can pay your tithes and offering online? This feature has been available on our website for quite a while now, but we have some exciting news that's happening this week. We have collaborated with Vanco Payments, and now we're going to be able to offer paying tithes and offerings and any of our other giving options here on our website through Vanco. You can actually download the app and have it on your phone or you can also still go back to our website and at the bottom where it says give or click on the top where it says giving you can click there and give your tithes and offering just like you always did. The difference is now you can set up an account and you only have to put your information in once and you just log in and now you can make your payments without having to do all of entering your address and payment information over and over again. Vanco also allows you to set up one time, bi-weekly, weekly or monthly payments so once you set it up you don't have to go through it again. At any time you can always log in, make these changes at any time. You will also get a receipt and all the information will still be delivered to our treasurers so that we can track your giving for tax purposes at the end of the year. If you have any questions about how to use this feature or you need some help, look inside your program. There's a flyer that describes what this new payment option is. And also, if you have any questions on how to do this or you need some help, you can reach out to Trustee Monica Callahan, me, AJ Holmes, or you can reach out to Hazel Lewis and we'll gladly help you through the process. Now some other exciting news I'd like to say is as you can see, we're transitioning into doing some new things with video as well as announcements. So if we have any budding actors or any people who, personalities who'd like to be on front of the camera, or if you don't like being in front of the camera, but you have one of those radio voices, we need you. The media ministry is looking for other people so we can have more hosts do these type of weekly video announcements or monthly announcements here for the church. If you're interested, please get in touch with me or email at this email address that's on the bottom right now and just send your information and we'll be glad to work with you. So as you can see, we're right out of time. So let's go ahead and go into worship. Have a great day. Thank you so much, and we shall be doing this now uh, as we journey forward. As a matter of fact, we're looking at doing it immediately. 
Amen. If you make the move and you prepare and put the stuff together, whether it's rough or not, if you follow the vision and actually do it, you'll be surprised at the results. And that's what I'm just here to help y'all with. So um, coming later on in this week, I'm actually going to start having other people um, in the video announcements. So I'll talk about what I did on what we did with that. So next time, maybe on my post-production next week, um, I might do a pre-production because I used to do that as well. Maybe I have a pre-production show and I'll actually go through creating the whole process of what I just talked about from uh, video announcements. This was kind of a different video. Um, it was pretty much me talking and me kind of showing, but I just wanted to give some type of heads up on what I'm actually doing. Like I said, this is the first time we've ever done video announcements. I hope that helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a like on this video, guys, and also consider subscribing because so we can keep coming out with content like this. And don't forget, also hit that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come out with new videos. This is AJ, the CEO, and we'll catch you on the next video. Later.